up to this point, uh, we've only done hypothesis testing regarding individual regression coefficients. And now I will show you how to do the test of the overall significance of the sample regression. So let's assume um, we've got the k-variable regression model, which means that there are k number of independent variables, x2, x3, and all the way to xk. And we would like to test the hypothesis that the slope coefficients beta 2, beta 3, and all the way to beta k are simultaneously equal to 0. And we test this hypothesis against the alternative hypothesis is that not all slope coefficients are simultaneously 0. To be able to test this set of hypotheses, we need to compute something called the f-test. So we take r squared, so the coefficient of determination from the original model, we divide it by k minus 1, where k as always is the number of parameters. And we divide everything by the difference between 1 minus r squared, so minus coefficient of determination over n minus k, so the number of observations minus number of parameters. So here is the equation once again. And uh, let's see how we make the decision. So if the estimated f statistic is higher than the critical f statistic, we reject the null hypothesis. In a sense, we accept the alternative one that not all slope coefficients are simultaneously zero. When it comes to the critical f statistic, there is f distribution table that I will share with you in the files. So, uh, but the way it should be approached is the following. So alpha, this is the level of significance, let's say 5%, the traditional one. K minus 1, this is, num the, this is the degrees of freedom in the numerator. And N minus K, this is the degrees of freedom in the, in the denominator. During our workshop workshops, I will show you how to work with this table. Alternatively, we can also look at the p-value of the estimated F statistic, and if it is lower than the significance level, then this is another sign that we should reject the null hypothesis. In, in addition to the previous test, we can also test the quality of two regression coefficients. So let's say we've got this model. This is a four-variable regression. Right, we've got x2, x3, x4, and we want to test the hypothesis that beta 3 is equal to beta 4, or the difference between beta 3 and beta 4 is 0. And we would like to test this hypothesis against the alternative one, that beta 3 is not equal to beta 4, or that the difference between beta 3 and beta 4 is not 0. To be able to do that, what we need to com compute is the t-statistic, so we take the difference between the estimated coefficients, right, the one that we get from our estimation results of this model, and we subtract the hypothesized value. In our case, the difference between beta 3 and beta 4 is 0, so we'll just substitute the value of 0 here, and we divide everything by the standard error of the difference between the estimated beta 3 and beta 4. To get the value in the denominator, we can use the following formula. So the standard error of the, of the difference is equal to the square root out of variance of beta 3 plus variance of beta 4 minus 2 multiplied by the covariance between beta 3 and beta 4.